Hello everyone, my name is Alka Singh. Today we are going to discuss a topic human circulatory system which is also known as cardiovascular system. This system consists of three components namely blood, heart and blood vessels. Talking about the blood, blood is made up of plasma, RBC, WBC and platelets. Blood is the circulatory fluid. Now, we have blood vessels. Blood vessels are of three types. Namely, arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries carries oxygenated blood and are thicker in size. Veins carries deoxygenated blood and these are thinner in size. Now we have capillaries present in our body. Capillaries are the thinnest blood vessel which helps in exchange of gases. Now we have the structure heart. Heart is made up of cardiac muscle. It has four chambers and it has a covering known as pericardium. It is mesodermally originated organ. It has four chambers like right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Now we have a septum present in between your two atrium known as interatrial septum and interventricular septum present in between your left ventricle and right ventricle. Septum is something which divides the ventricle and atria. Now we have structure present in between the atria and ventricle and left atria and ventricle known as valves. Valves are of four types in your heart. First valve is known as tricuspid valve present on the right side of your heart and bicuspid valve or mitral valve present on left side of your heart. Now the valve present in your pulmonary arteries are known as pulmonary valve and there is a aortic wall present in your aorta. So, these are the structures present in your heart. Now, let us talk about circulatory pathways of your heart. So, what happens first is blood comes from your lungs to the left atrium where left atrium gets relaxed to fill in the blood. Now, this blood pours down to the left ventricle where left ventricle gets contracted to push the blood to the aortic wall and from aortic wall it goes to the aorta and from aorta it goes to different body parts. Now this was the story of your oxygenated blood which comes from lungs. Now let us talk about deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood is something, the blood which is being used by the body. Now, what happens is deoxygenated blood comes from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava to the right atrium where right atrium gets relaxed to fill in the blood and this blood pours down into the right ventricle by the opening of your tricuspid wall. Here the ventricle gets contracted and pushes the blood to the pulmonary wall and from pulmonary wall it goes to the pulmonary arteries and from pulmonary arteries it goes to the lungs for their oxygenation and after oxygenation the blood Again comes to the left atrium and this cycle keeps on going throughout the 
life. This completes your blood circulation and also this completes your topic. Hope you like this session. Thank you so much.